Just back off. Don't touch me. Gorgeous. Samuel, if you really do love me, you won't hurt me. This isn't love, it's lust. Father, please be quiet. If you love me, you won't hurt me. You won't do anything that I don't want you to do. Oh, you. Yes. If you love me, Samuel, I don't want you to touch me. I don't want you to do it. You do not feel the same. I do not want it. <laughs> Pat says when a girl says they don't want it, sometimes that means they do. No! Sometimes no means yes. No, it doesn't. Please? Back away slowly. Vote him. Good boy, Samuel. Let us go in peace. Pastor! Pastor! You won't believe what's happening at Winston's place. You won't believe it. He's changing into some sort of... How the hell did he get here? Walk very slowly. Don't provoke them. What? I cannot fight it. I need you, Jenny. And I shall take you. No! No! Hellfire. How many of them are there? Uh, what's that? They're frightened of it. So am I. Don't be. It's just the TARDIS. TARDIS? Free for use? How strange. It appears to be something to do with the police. It isn't, really. This is just a disguise. Not a very good one, admittedly, since it attracts too much attention. What is it really, then? A time and space machine, obviously. Inspector, uh, Doctor, am I glad to see you? So you're the imposter who has been assuming my identity. Doctor, whatever is wrong with Winston, it's somehow spread to the rest of the villagers. Has it really? Most of them. The TARDIS arriving scared them all into the fields, but I don't know for how long. Hmm. If they stay away from their treated water supply, they should start reverting back to normal. If that fails, then I've got this. An antidote. Winston's potion is remarkable for its time. The chemical balance is on the right lines. But the metamorphosis can never be permanent, one way or the other. Because the DNA... As long as it works. This isn't the place for a symposium. You say it's in the water supply. Of course. It's contaminated. That's why we are unchanged, Father. Joseph, he's after corrupting us all. We've got to stop him before the villagers get stuck like that. They won't get stuck in that form permanently, but they will end up in a constant flux between their normal selves and the creatures, changing back and forth, pretty much as Joseph Winston is now. Good God! And to think that Commissioner Hollingsworth is backing this? He and the rest of your little conspiracy probably don't know what they're backing, which is why, I suspect, he sent you. Why don't we all get into the TARDIS? Because we need to get to the manor house, and the TARDIS, well... <clears throat> Oh, yes. I was forgetting. It's busted. Mind you, you did manage to get from London to here. She had a moment of clarity. We can't bank on it again. Suppose not. We'll have to get going on foot, then. And quickly, too. There's no saying when the villagers will return, and I don't fancy another run-in with Samuel. He didn't... No. But I wouldn't count on it next time. <sighs> right. Well, let's get started, then. Now, think. Which is the most secure building in the village? I would say the chapel. It's sturdy, the windows are high up, and of course, it has got the Lord's blessing. Oh, please. It's just bricks and mortar. Now, Jenny, I think Daniel's right. We'll go to the chapel. Best foot forward, everybody. Right, looks safe enough. <sighs> what are you talking about? It's pitch black. I can't see a thing. I light some candles. There, that's better. So, Doctor, do you have any bright ideas as to what is causing Winston and these villagers to change? 
Haven't I just told you? Winston convinced your little society that his potion could make you into supermen. To liberate you, as he put it. And instead, they're de-evolving into beasts. Not quite, Jenny. Early man was primitive and covered in hair, but they were certainly nothing like Winston or Samuel. What do you mean, Doctor? Well, the metamorphosis in each case seems to take on particular characteristics. It emphasises different traits in each individual. With Winston, it's power and prestige. With Samuel, it would appear to be lust. There's no appear about it, Doctor. And each with aggressive overtones. The Tate factor. Father. Yes, love, it would seem so. Are you all right, Daniel? Uh, yes, Doctor. It's all proving too much for me, I'm afraid. And I can't help feeling slightly responsible, too. This is my flock, after all. So what are we going to do? Well, I've broken down the compound, and I'm very close to finding an antidote. I'll have to stay in the TARDIS until I've cracked it. Can I stay too? I'd like to help, and I would love to get a look at the time machine. I'll admit it. Wait till you do. It'll blow you away. Blow me away? She means the dimensions within will be hard for you to comprehend. What do you want us to do, Doctor? Um, I need you three to venture outside and find out what state the villagers are in when they emerge. Okay. Uh, but stay together and don't get seen. Don't worry, we will. Come on, Daniel. No, you're all right. Uh, if you don't mind, I'm exhausted. I might go for a lie down. Fair enough. Come on, Mr Crawford. I'm right behind you, Miss Jenny. Right behind you. I can't hold it off indefinitely, Raven. The potion seems to have... Less effect each time I take it. Soon, soon, I will be permanently trapped in that wretched state of mind and body. But I thought that's what you wanted, sir. To be rid of man-made etiquette, yes. To be free. To be a free moral agent, yes. But not this. An uncontrollable beast. Unthinking and unreasoning. Damn it! I was so close to the formula. What, what was that, sir? I don't know. It could be one of the villagers. What? I did something reckless, Raven. Or rather, he did. My other persona. What did you do? I, he, mixed a gargantuan amount of the formula into the water treatment plant so he could share his new freedom with the others, expand his forces. What? All the villagers are changing, and they will continue to do so as long as they drink the water. Well, uh, can't, can't you stop the plant or clean the system out? Yes. Yes, I've been intending to. On and off. On and off. I, I, I could do a back flush and clean the system out. Sir? I fear that I will not be... I will not remain in control for much longer, Raven. It might be best for you to leave now. But, sir... Leave. Now. Yeah, yes, sir. At once. Is it the villagers? Or is it you... His revenge hovering at my doorstep again. They've all come back to the village. Yes, but look at them. There's the constable, and that's Josh, the barman. All semi-transformed. Fascinating. They look bewildered. Well, it's hardly surprising, is it? Well, I know, but it's not just the shock of what has happened to them. They look delirious. It's as though they're confused, they're... Neither one thing nor the other. Not human, but not beasts either. Once we are fully reverted, we will have to go over and put them in the picture. Oh no, it's Josh. He's trying to get into the tavern. If he takes a drink, if any of them do. Oh, we'll be right back to where we started. Hey, wait! Josh, wait a minute! Wait, Josh! Stop there, man! Wait a minute! Wait a moment! Josh! Wait, it's me! Jenny! Remember? Jenny and the inspector! The pastor! Rebecca! Can I eat? Yes! Remember, Jenny and the doctor? We had your delicious meat pie yesterday! Jenny and the doctor? Yes, my god! What's happening to us? You've been infected! There's contaminated!
contamination in the water supply. Contamination. If you stay away from the water, don't drink any at all, you will recover. Don't drink the water? Yes. All of you, don't drink the water. It's the water that's making you ill. The water and the beer. Don't drink it. Look, he's changing. I don't believe it. The hair is gone. He looks normal. I say, thank goodness. My God. I'm, I'm, I'm naked. Where's Samuel? I beg your pardon? Samuel, he isn't here. What's happened to him? Oh, never mind him. I think we need to get back to the doctor. Yes, you're right. And the local constabulary might be required too. Are you all right, Rebecca? You seem more preoccupied than usual. I still can't get over the TARDIS. I mean, all that room in such a little box. It's a bit overwhelming at first, I know, but it's strange how soon visitors feel at home there. To my people, it's been the norm for millions of years. Your people? Yes. I do hope Father's all right. He seems to have gone a bit subdued. Oh, I'm sure he's fine. Just a bit overwrought, I imagine. Now, we need to find the water treatment plant. It'll be at the back of the house. Keep an eye out for any unfriendly scientists, won't you? Or any monsters. I'm afraid in this particular case, they are one and the same. By this stage, you'll be finding it very hard to suppress his alter ego. We need to get this antidote into the water before he realises we're here. Or his pet monster. Oh, of course. I've forgotten about him. We might have two monsters to contend with. Then we must hurry. This is it. Take the stopper off the test tube carefully. That's it. Now, I'd hazard a guess that this is the main filter. Right. Now, tip the concentrate in. Excellent. That should start counteracting the effects of Winston's formula. Might take a while, though. Doctor, I think it's Winston. No, look harder. It's Samuel. Your soul. You're so tired. Samuel, it's me. The doctor. Remember? The doctor? The doctor is Jenny. That's right. Where is Jenny? I need to take her. Jenny isn't here. It's me, the doctor. I'm your friend. I need you to drink this medicine. Drink it, Samuel. It will make you feel a lot better. Doctor? It's all right, Samuel. You're back. What's wrong? I've never seen a naked man before. <sighs> Jenny. Has anything happened to Miss Jenny? Is she all right? I didn't... Did I? She's fine. She's in the village with Inspector Crawford. Oh, I hate myself, daughter. The way I treat her, the things I said, the things I thought and wanted and desired. I'm an abomination. I'm suffering hell, and I deserve it. But I see another law in my members, warring against the law of my mind, and bringing me into captivity to the law of sin which is in my members. O oh, wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? Pastor Jacobs, is the doctor there? Uh, no, no, Inspector. Rebecca and the doctor have gone up to the manor house to put a stop to Winston and his madness. I think they may require some assistance, don't you? Are you coming? No. Uh, yes, yes, I will come. Good. Dr. Winston? Joseph Winston, are you there? What has been going on? The place is a mess. 
would seem that our mad scientist has gone a good deal madder in the past few hours. Listen. He's upstairs. Come on, very slowly. Joseph? <laughs> Doctor, come to gloat, have we? And the delightful, prim and proper Rebecca, daughter of our holier-than-thou preacher man, how quaint. You have only yourself to blame, Joseph. Oh, I don't know. I think I can blame quite a few people, my dear. Not to mention the odd supreme being. A damn book with its sin its guilt. Do you hear me, God? Are you happy now? Got what you wanted? Taught me, the sinner, a valuable lesson? Joseph. And there's Darwin and his half-baked bloody ideas. Joseph. Why, I believe that charlatan I'll never know. I'm trapped in this perpetuating flux of metamorphosis. There's no point in getting all bitter and twisted about it. You've brought all this on yourself. And there's your oh-so-perfect father, the Reverend Daniel Jacobs. Why I listen to him, I will never know. My father? Yes, child, your father. We went to the same theological college. Didn't know I was a preacher too, did you? Eh? Eh? No. I too fell in love with the scripture. I too longed for heaven on earth, the thousand-year reign of Christ, paradise restored. But I soon realised that such ideals are beyond human endeavour because it's in our very nature to rail against these codes of conscience and deportment. You should have confided in my father. He would have helped you. <laughs> Your father agreed with me, child. He became obsessed with what he called the Harmatia Syndrome and the Ketaf Factor, the sin and corruption instinctive in us all. But he still threw himself into the church. Why, you abandoned your faith and turned to science. <laughs> oh, if only you knew, child. Have you any idea where Daniel met your mother? Don't you ever wonder why he doesn't talk about her? He can't bear to. It's the grief. Why there are no pictures of her? Why does he possess not a single item of hers? Don't you ever wonder what business he attends to in London? Have you the remotest idea who he meets there? Why he goes? Stop it. Joseph, that's enough. Your father has been living a lie. He has tried so hard over the years to measure up to those impossible standards, and yet, once a month, he seeks relief in the bed of a common street slut. Even when your mother was murdered in cold blood, he couldn't stop going there. Eliminating man's instinctive nature is not the answer. It is the moral code that needs eliminating. Our passions are there to be indulged. His reversion drug is wearing off. Joseph, listen to me. I have created an antidote. I mixed it with a water treatment plant. The villagers have recovered. It's not just a reversion drug, it's a cure. Are you listening, Joseph? Think about it. It's a cure. You still don't understand the nature of my experimentation, Doctor. There is no cure once the host has passed a certain point. Besides, what you are offering is no cure. To be imprisoned by primitive ethics, to be forever at war with my own conscience. He's too far gone. Doctor, I was worried about you. I'm all right. Are all the villagers fully restored? Yes. They've been living on milk for the last few hours. Rebecca, my daughter. Father. Ah, the pastor has come to condemn me to damnation. How very pure of him. Notice I said pure there, Daniel. Remember how you so badly wanted to be pure, to be rid of the Ketaith factor. Instead, you have allowed it to dominate you. You are no different to me. None of you are. None of you are. Is it not strong and proud that they shall inherit the earth? Deliver us from the creatures, sanctify the unnatural ones, since the kingdom belongs to them. Get it, man! Hold him down! Hold him down so the doctor can give him the cure! No! No cure! Get off me! Sure, this is the original creature. Richard. Richard. I don't believe it. The original creature.
creature is Joseph Winston's wife. She's permanently metamorphosed. Permanent? But you said... I know. Winston must have perfected his own perverse version of gene therapy. Though I suspect more by accident than by design. <laughs> Quick, everybody, downstairs. Look, they're changing back. His wife, his wife is beautiful. Isn't she? Daddy. Daniel. Daniel. Yes, Joseph. You were right. It cannot be tamed. Not by us. Oh, Bridget. Bridget. My love. I hope you can find it in your heart to forgive me. I... I do forgive you, Joseph. How could I not? I hope when you get back to London, you tell Hollingsworth that Winston's great project is an utter disaster. Oh, I will. We don't want any more of these scientist nutters playing God. Oh, no offence, Matt. The God I worship, Doctor, forgives freely, provided we mend our ways and grant forgiveness to one another. In my case, if I can find a good woman who's willing to put up with me, I think marriage should be my destiny now. Uh, yes. Well... Best of luck, I guess. You too, Rebecca. What about you two? Uh, well, for us, it's wherever the TARDIS takes us next. Is it really bigger on the inside than it is on the outside? <laughs> I know it sounds ludicrous. I say, may I take a peep? Well, oh, I suppose there's no point in not showing you, given everything you've experienced in the last few days. Oh, bravo. Excuse me, Doctor. There's someone I need to see. Don't be long. I knew it was you hovering about over here. Please, Miss Jenny, I didn't mean nothing, I... I know you didn't, Samuel. You're basically a good man. What happened? I forgive you. Oh, thank you, Miss. Goodbye, Samuel. Goodbye, Miss Jenny. Astonishing, utterly astonishing. And you say it has bedrooms and a laboratory and a pool for swimming. <laughs> yes, I uh, think. To be honest, I seem to keep mislaying rooms. It's all in there somewhere. It's a miracle. I suppose it is. It'll be a miracle if it actually takes us where we want to go. Thank you, Jenny. Uh, are you ready now? <sighs> I'm ready. Goodbye. 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 That was episode three of The Katef Factor, starring Joe Binks as the Doctor, Amy Elizabeth as Jenny, Adrian Hudson as Pastor Daniel. John Ainsworth as Dr. Joseph Winston, Kate Volte as Rebecca, Gary St. John as Samuel, Gareth Preston as Mr. Raven, Kevin Hiley as Inspector Crawford, and Carl Bowler as Josh. Other parts played by members of the cast. Theme music by Leather Barrow. Incidental music by Peter Dudley. Written by Will Hadcroft. Produced and directed by Gareth Preston. This has been a Fine Line production. <laughs>